Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel. Alla fine Forza Juve Oh wait Wait Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel. I'm laughing because I'm reading your comments and it's a bit funny. It's a bit funny. The comments are hilarious. How are you doing guys? You saw the title, eh guys? It's not clickbait. I saw someone that said, Pepe, I love you, but stop the clickbait. It's not clickbait. I'm reporting what is written on the planet, on the planet. So uh, I read something. I said, okay, let's read, let's understand, and then I will make my own idea. It started to be an official one, it started to be a, a usual one that in the evening uh, we are here. I was doing that uh, on Twitch, I did it for like one, two months, it was really funny, but now uh, I decided to uh, to start to do it uh, usually on uh, YouTube with the community, and uh, I'm having a lot of fun in the evenings. I always say we will try to do it and to keep it in 30 minutes, and then we are talking for one hour, one hour 15 one hour 30 so let's keep it short um how are you doing how are you doing how are you doing because pe people are saying luis guerrero is saying welcome home welcome home i don't know if you are speaking about the juve stadium or in my home but you are welcome welcome to mohammed uh, this evening ciao to Tariq, the usual one the family la familia uh, say hello to pirlo no pirlo no party i will keep that t-shirt i love that t-shirt really great i believed in pirlo eh, a lot ciao michael galabrese we have ricardo santomaggio uh, am i wrong ah no i was not wrong i uh, because i said i said i know the name ricardo santomaggio is from australia i read the comments Ciao Giuseppe, from all the family from Melbourne, Australia. See, it's still working, eh? it's still working, my great friend, my brother. My brother, the one, the only, that made actually the cartoon from last uh, Mercato, Aman, my great friend. Ciao Cyril11, who's saying, finally, this time I won't miss the live. How are you doing, guys? Uh, say hello to Thomas, say hello to Thomas. The rumor will uh, mill will keep turning until the end of the Mercato. And that's the first thing I want to uh, start with, the rumor mill. Because, uh, and by the way, ciao to uh, 
Sylvain le frère oui signe trop agréable de voir tes anciennes réactions à plusieurs buts de notre bien aimé Juve sing I love to see the intro with all the reaction to our beautiful goals so if we start speaking about the rumors and the rumor mills like uh, Thomas is saying uh, what do you prefer guys what do you prefer you prefer nothing no news and then you are complaining because there are no news to Juve why is uh, why is nobody linked to Juve why is Juventus not active on the market or then you have hurricane exaggeration we will have to read and uh, we will have to read it not immediately let's see first how the boys are doing our boys because today they were training again and we have exclusive beautiful images on the channel we will show them but what do you prefer you prefer nothing or you prefer clickbait articles uh, you have to decide you have to decide do you prefer to start dreaming about hurricane hurricane it's not the first time that is linked to you at the end i will even start believing it myself i don't know ciao rico ciao ambrosh ambrosh hello to all the uf and ciao ambrosh Ciao, Caden, who is saying the board of Tottenham is crazy. Instead of Paratici, they overprice everybody. It's true. Ciao, Julian. Uh, can you do Kulu live one day? It would be great. No, Kuluzewski will not come on my uh, channel. Uh, guys, uh, for having the players of Juventus, it's really difficult uh, because they have image rights. You can't have anybody from uh, the actual team. That's really, really, really difficult. It is what it is. We will uh, we will survive even without them. So what do we pre what did we prepare today? A lot of things, but you didn't answer me. Yeah? What do you prefer, news or the bullshit news? I don't know. I'm waiting for your answer. Anthony Di Fabio is saying beautiful time, Beppe. 8 a.m. in Australia. Everyone at work can listen to you now. Always a pleasure to hear from you. It's also beautiful, huh? really beautiful Tarek is saying can we go to Argentina why do you want to go to Argentina uh, <laughs> because Anthony can't come to Torino guys it will be okay the renewal will be okay no worry no worry no worry so let me see actually the the result of the poll and really curious about the result of the poll let me see uh, what are you voting at the moment so we have 23 percent that are still believing in hurricane to juve this summer even if i warned you that there is no money guys there is no money uh 49 are saying no way and 28 percent are saying stop it stop it beppe stop stop with these articles guys it is what it is we have to live with the news that we have so let's go immediately to see how the boys are doing and before i forget that's also an important one because today we will go through the articles of one football you can see here one football sponsor of the channel grande one football always here on my phone uh, always together with me they are giving me the news and by the way i opened the telegram group so from the moment i see a beautiful news Boom! I take it together with uh, Mo El Tactico, who's my buddy uh, on that story, and we are putting it in the Telegram group. And now, newness since yesterday, we unlocked the possibility so that you can also interact about the news. Really great. We are having a lot of funny time. But first, my friend Mohamed is saying, dream big, guys. It is for free. What a beautiful comment. Oh, I love that. Before going back to the uh, to the beautiful picture of today, let's see how our boys are doing because we have to prepare. Saturday there is a game. Huh? I don't know if you were uh, aware of it, but there is a beautiful game. Juventus versus Cesena. We are not playing in the Juventus Stadium. We are playing in La Continassa where they are training. There will not be any public there. Uh, so the supporters will not be possible to enter the stadium because it's a smaller stadium. We will not be able to respect the COVID uh, health and safety measurement but uh, we will have some journalists uh, the game will probably be on television and then from midnight so a few hours later you will be able to see the replay on Juventus TV if you are subscribed of course it's not for free but it's quite cheap I have to admit um, so uh, <laughs> what do we have uh, uh, let me check we have smart 93 idea who just sent a beautiful sticker with noob uh, noob with a joystick that is actually uh, uh, on the uh, I don't know he's laying on the ground but he has a really beautiful smile I love that sticker smart 93 ID I love it grande 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 
Ciao, ciao Smart 93 ID. So let's see how our boys are doing because here we see Massimiliano Allegri. And don't forget, download the app, download One Football, guys. They are helping me to stay awake in the night so to support the channel. So we have One Football, great iOS and Android for free. But look at Allegri, look at Allegri. This is the year of the bald people. Look how fresh I am. I just come from the shower. I shaved my head. I'm ready for a new week because we are playing versus Cesena. So look who's there. Look who's there in the front row. Who's the player that we see immediately? We saw a lot of shots of that player. We saw a lot of that player, a lot of shots. And who is that player? It's quite easy, guys. I will show you immediately if you are doubting. Nicolò Fagioli. Nicolò Fagioli will have an important chance, a really important chance. He will be big. He will be big this year. I can guarantee you that. At least in the summer, because then we will see what player we will buy. But they will, he will have a big chance to prove himself with Allegri. And I saw a lot of shots. You know, I pay attention to these details. What are they saying, actually? And who are they photographing? Because the players that they put in the front row, a lot of time, these are players that we know that Juventus want to put a bit on the front. Will Fagioli finally be able to show his skills because last year we praised him without even knowing who he was because let's be honest how many games did we see of Fagioli two one and a half one and a half game this time we'll be uh, able to see to see Fagioli in action I can't wait and that's why I really wanted to start with that picture of Allegri with Fagioli first row and people are already immediately, immediately writing the comments here. Oh, we'll speak about one football, guys. Huh? We have Fagioli, Fagioli, Demiral, Demiral. I have a picture about Demiral as well. Uh, uh, wait, uh, Tabner, uh, Grande Pepe. Always love seeing your live videos. I have fun with the lives. And I saw that Justin was there, but I missed. Where is uh, Justin comments? Ah, here. Justin Soforo that also is uh, on uh, Bianconeri Zone on the YouTube channel. They are doing great things, guys. Uh, they are doing great things. So if you have the opportunity to go to uh, give them a follow, that's great. Don't forget. First, my channel, and then you go to Bianconeri Zone. Uh, but they are doing great things. So Justin... Welcome on the channel, Grande Pepe, he says 14,000, that's thanks to the people and are subscribing to the channel. Fagioli will be the new Marchisio, the new Principino, so con let's continue to see uh, the pictures from today if you want to. So we have uh, here Demiral, we spoke about it, eh? this morning he was at the J Medicals, he did some tests and immediately in the second session in the afternoon he went uh, to uh, the training center to train immediately without any waiting. You remember the first day it was only J Medicals and we started the day after with the trainings, Demiral, he he did the more the test in the morning in the afternoon is there how long will he stay i don't know let's close the vote huh? because uh, uh 49 are saying me judah it will not happen 26 are saying stop it so we have actually the majority we have 75 percent of people who are not believing in the news I believe uh, you are doing well, but we will continue to speak about Harry Kane, why they are, are actually writing an article about him. But Demiral, will he stay or not? Uh, huh. If someone comes with money, yes. At the moment, you know that uh, there is nobody that comes uh, with money. But the strategy is really clear of Juventus. Players that want to leave, great, give us an offer. And at the moment, we have no offer. Uh, ah, it's long time ago that I didn't see the name Beans. Beans, you know why Beans? And uh, guys, Beans is uh, actually Fagioli. Fagioli in Italian means Beans. Uh, so Beans will be better than Kevin De Bruyne. Different positions, different positions, but why not? So except of Demiral, who do we have? Uh, Paolino Di Bala, the year of uh, Paolino Di Bala. And speaking about him... Uh, his agent. We are waiting his agent. I spoke with some sources. The agent will arrive. End of uh, July, he will be there. We have 10 days. In the 10 coming days, 
he will arrive and I'm really confident about the contract extension of Paolo Dybala. They already spoke, he wants to be central in the project, Allegri believes in him, he wants to put Dybala in the center of the project, that's why I made a video about it, so I believe uh, uh, he will uh, he will stay, he will be uh, he will be there, he will be a really important man, I love to see these images. Um, uh, what do we have as a comment? Vamonos! I will be live with them uh, really soon after my holiday, by the way. Uh, Dybala will be our surprise. But surprise? No. Uh, surprise is when Dybala is not playing well. When he's not playing well, it is a surprise. But uh, when he's playing good, it's not a surprise. And we hope that he will be on top again as he deserves. My friend George, he's saying, will Ravella stay? Uh, yeah, he will stay, but not at Juve. He will stay at uh, his uh, clo uh, club, Genoa, I believe. Yeah, he played at Genoa. Why? Because uh, we loaned him for two years. So uh, one year and a half when we bought him, he did already six months on loan in his club where he was already, and then he will continue one year. If we want him back, we had to pay a fee. We have already Fagioli, Locatelli is arriving. We have enough midfielder, especially if we play with a 4-2-3-1. So don't expect to see him. Uh, people are asking, where can I see the friendly? So if you want to see it live, probably it will be on Sky Sport Italia. Probably. It's not confirmed yet, but that's what I heard on Sky Sport Italia. Uh, if you want to see the replay, then you will have to wait a bit uh, more because on Italian time midnight, you will be able to see... It on Juventus TV, the application, you know, you go on the site and then you click on TV and then you see the game on the side of Juve. Uh, Grazie Mohamed, who's saying, if we sell Dragozin and Demiral, what do we have with usual injuries? We play three major competition. It's not a bad comment, eh? it's a real comment and a valid comment, a good comment, by the way, by Mohamed. Why? Because it's true that when we are playing with four men defend, you need only f four center backs, okay? You have four uh, wingers, and then you have four center backs. And that's enough. That's enough because you wrote, you play, actually in defense, you play a lot of time with the same uh, duo, and then you rotate when you have minor games, okay? The problem there is that we have a Chiellini that at the moment, guys, because we are speaking like Chiellini is there. At the moment, Chiellini didn't renew, huh? At the moment, he didn't renew. At the moment, as we are speaking, Chiellini is a free agent. Will he renew? Yes, probably. Yes, I don't see him elsewhere. Even if there was a news, remember a few days ago, that said uh, Chiellini approached by Ancelotti from Real Madrid after the departure of Sergio Ramos. So let's see. But normally, if he will be there, we have four Ademiral goes away, Dragujin goes away, so we have four defenders. Who are the four defenders? We have Chiellini, uh, Bonucci, De Ligt, and Rugani. Rugani, guys, Rugani is not, it's not bad, but it's not, a, it's not a starter at Juve, okay? We have to be honest with that. And that would be enough for me, because Rugani would nearly never play. The problem is that uh, Chiellini is injury prone. And that's my biggest fear, a bit like Mohammed is saying. By the way, to all the Muslim people on the channel, Eid Mubarak, I wanted to send you that message. You know that on the channel we are not speaking about politics, we are not speaking about religion or whatever, but uh, the important messages we want to give them and we want to, be, to wish the best to everyone. So for all the Muslims, Eid Mubarak. Look at that, the pronunciation, Eid Mubarak. I pronounce good. I think I'm. Uh, I can speak Ara uh, Arabic nearly, nearly. Um, so it's true that we can have a problem if uh, Kellini is injured. Then we have a problem. But uh, guys, uh, if we start with that, then uh, it will be difficult. Who else? Who else uh, do we have in the pictures of today? We have uh, we have the goat. The goat waiting for the other goat to arrive. We have a Pinsolio. Pinsolio that is giving his best in pre-training. We can say whatever we want about uh, Pinsolio, but uh, we can't say that he's not training 100% uh, the, the best he can. So Grande Pinsolio will not stop too much there. Uh, McKenny, McKenny as well. Uh, he will uh, he will remain. At UV will not be at the Olympics, uh, Grande McKenny. So, uh, 
let's go with the pictures. We have Perin. Perin at the moment will be the same goalkeeper. And you know what? Allegri will have exactly the same lineups of goalkeepers like he had uh, a few uh, years ago. The last year of Allegri, you remember, we had Szczesny as the number one. We had Perin as the second goalkeeper. And then we had Pinsoglio, three goalkeepers. And we will have the same uh, so coincidence, coincidence, after Buffon came back for two years, Perin was on loan everywhere in Italy, we will have again the same lineups, coincidence, really strange, grande Zaccaria, grande, grande, thank you, thank you for uh, supporting the channel, who is saying grande Beppe, much love, love and support from Morocco, love Morocco. I grew up in a multicultural uh, uh, city, guys, and so my friends were majority Italian, but I had a lot of Moroccan friends, uh, Turkish friends, Spanish friends, so uh, I love, I love. I can say a few words in uh, Moroccan, eh? like drare, that's my friend. Eh? If we have to speak about uh, uh, Moroccan words, drare, smahle, when you are sorry, you say smahle to the people, uh, shuf, that means, means uh, look, so I, I can speak a bit, eh? Uh, yeah, I'm from Sicily, yeah, I'm from Sicily, but uh, I grew up in Belgium, in a multicultural uh, city. Um, we have to speak about Ronaldo. I have a news about Ronaldo. A news. Let's see if it's true or not, but Sport Italia reported something about Cristiano Ronaldo. So what are the other pictures? Let's go a bit faster. Frabotta, we have a news about Frabotta. Frabotta, uh, next week, next week, Juventus and Atalanta will meet. Uh, at the moment, he's still there. He's still training with Juventus, but his destiny is already sealed. Uh, next week, talks Juventus, Atalanta, and he will go to Atalanta. So it is what it is. Uh, Allegri again showing showing the sponsor of the channel one football and he's saying download download it for free and then we had another picture that i wanted to show you guys and it's this one uh do you know who's that player okay let's see let's see shout out to the first one who is able to give me the name of the player who's the name who's that player who's that player i'm waiting Yusef, Yusef, Yusef Miller was fast, faster than Jay Tarek, that normally Jay Tarek is really, really, really fast, so Tarek, uh, you are second, because it's Yusef that found it, it's Damjard from Sampdoria, and uh, apparently there are some talks, some, there are some talks, but uh, again, uh, a price tag, 35, 40 million Sampdoria, so... I don't know if I have to believe that news or not. Anyway, uh, great. He, he did a really great Euro. Eh? A really great Euro. Eh? Sanidu27 is saying Damgar cost 40 million. That's what I was saying. But it's strange. In Italy, as soon as Juventus is going for a player, they are asking 40 million. Whatever you do, whatever player you are talking about, 40 million, 40 million. Remember Skamaka, 40 million. You go to, uh, I don't know, whatever player... 40 million. I don't know. It's strange. It's really strange. These kind of crazy prices. So now that the people is a bit hot, let's go to the news of the day. The news of the title of the video is here. You know, I go on one football, I type Juventus, and then I'm a common page. Of course, I always see Locatelli uh, because. He's always at the center of the news. And then I see Harry Kane. I'm mean, asking myself, why is Harry Kane in the page of Juve? I don't understand. So I see the title. Juventus have not given up on a sensational swoop for Harry Kane. So I click on the news. Because I want to I wanna know. I want to know. So let's see. Because there are already some blue words here that are making me doubt immediately before reading. But I see that it is not a secret that Harry Kane wants to leave Tottenham. And until now, we are okay with that, okay? We know that. 
And the list of the club that can afford this to sign the England captain is rather a smallish one. We know that all the clubs have a lot of problems. The perceived thinking is that only Manchester City, Manchester United, Chelsea and Paris Saint-Germain can afford Kane's transfers fee and wages. However, however that may not be the case according to talks coming off Italy. Earlier this month, the British media, Daily Star, Daily Star, guys, okay, we are speaking about Daily Star, Daily Star already, the name, do you believe a paper that is written Daily Star? I don't believe Daily Star, but reported that Juve has made repeated attempts to sign the 27-year-old, uh, and therefore, there is a feeling in Turin that the deal can be done. So let's, let's understand the situation, Kane, first, okay. A few months ago, who was in charge of the transfer market of Juventus? It was Paratici, right? So Paratici apparently multiple times repeated attempts to sign the 27-year-old. Why not? Why not? Maybe he can try. Maybe he can be creative. Why not? But now Paratici, the one that really did apparently, yeah, because I don't know the truth, but repeated attempts, he went to Tottenham. So why on earth do we want to sell the player? It's strange. But then apparently they are saying it's because he wants to leave. And we know that a, 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 a player that wants to leave, most of the time he leaves. Juventus cannot pay 150 million pound we know that we know that we speak about it every single night we don't have the money so that means that the deal cannot be done it seems that some behind the scenes at juve feel that the swap deal involving multiple players can be achieved <coughs> if the will is there and that in Fab fabio paratici they have someone that they can at least talk to multiple players multiple players going to tottenham and we receive then a, a hurricane but then i start to think we have a lot of players and allegri said uh allegri said that um he doesn't want to start the season with 30 players. He doesn't want to. Too much players. He, wa he doesn't want to say to players, you are not in the uh, Champions League list. You remember what happened with Emre Can, with Mandzukic, when they were trained by uh, Sarri. He had to give the news. He didn't do it in a really great way. And then it was chaos, problems. So, okay. Um, so, why not? Uh, Rabio. Uh, Bernardeschi, we know that Tottenham is on these players. Uh, Dybala, no, because he will be at the center of the project, but who else can go? I don't know. Uh, so, how many percentage would we give to the chance for a swap with multiple players and having Kane to Juve? Kane to Juve means that Cristiano Ronaldo has to leave. But how many percentage do we give? <laughs> Mohammed is saying seven, seven players, multiple players, seven players. It's true. 150 million. What's the, the value of our players? Nobody wants them. You, do, do you really believe that Tottenham will go for Rugani, for Bernardeschi, for Frabotta? No, guys, seriously. If they go for players, then it's big players like Dybala. But Dybala, he will not go. Two years ago, he could go. Not now. So the, the, the people in the chat are saying 0%, no chance, 0%. Maximum 10% for Martin. Uh, Martin is giving 10%. And we have another Martin, Legion Jarta. You just subscribed to the channel, grande. Welcome to the family. Uh, Demiral, Demiral. Demiral is a, is a name, Erfan, it's true. Demiral can be a name. 40 million value. Okay, we still miss 110 million, eh, guys. Uh, Demiral, Rabio, Rabio has probably a value as well of 40 million. And we are at 80. So 80 million. We still need 50 minus 20. We still miss 70 million. Juventus will not be able to cash. So 
What's the other option? The other option is that Cristiano Ronaldo leaves. And I will tell you, because, uh, you know, we have uh, to follow a bit um, Paris Saint-Germain news. I will tell you that Paris Saint-Germain, they were about to sign the Lazio player. Can say, uh, can say, what the player? I don't know the name. Uh, Correa, Correa. They were about to buy Correa. Everything was nearly done. Everything was nearly done. And then they stopped everything. And apparently the rumors, it's Korea, Tarek, like uh, Anthony Singh, it's Korea. Not Felix Korea, the, the Korea from, um, uh, from Lazio. So apparently the rumors are saying that Paris Saint-Germain is on a big player. On a big, big player. And that's why they want to stop the discussion with Lazio. Ravi because I saw your comment, is saying, it is understood that Nino Raiola is discussing Paul Pogba's personal terms with Paris Saint-Germain. PSG believes that they can sign him for less than half of the 89 million pounds that Manchester uh, United signed him in 2016. So less than half, that means 40 million. I don't know if Manchester would do that for 40 million, would be crazy. It can be Pogba, and I hear a lot of rumors about Pogba, uh, but I also hear a lot of rumors. Again, looks like Paris Saint-Germain, they want to do a last attempt. A last attempt to sign Cristiano Ronaldo. They have it here. They have it here. They have it in their mind. Uh, uh, Fino alla fine is saying PSG is really annoying, I understand. Uh, can they go for both players? At a certain moment, we don't have to exaggerate. Okay, we have to stop. Uh, but I don't know how many money he has, the guy from uh, Qatar. I don't know. So, is it Pogba? And maybe Man Ronaldo to Manchester United? Or, or I don't know. But apparently Paris Saint-Germain, I, I heard today from Sport Italia... That Sport Italia said, and I have written it in uh, in the Telegram group of today, uh, I've written, let me read you the news, Paris Saint-Germain could do a last-minute attempt for Cristiano Ronaldo. A news of Sport Italia, guys. A news of Sport Italia. Crazy. Um, it's really strange. So... Cristiano Ronaldo, what is the situation with Cristiano Ronaldo? Cristiano Ronaldo is a, a Juventus player. He still has one year of contract, like he signed in the beginning. He signed for four years. He still has one year of contract. Uh, he's doing well at Juve. He did three great, amazing years. Unfortunately, Cristiano Ronaldo came in a moment that was the most unlucky moment of the history of football to Juve. And Juventus Paratici couldn't build the team around Cristiano Ronaldo. We started well with the Licht, and then we had to stop. Um, Cristiano Ronaldo wins a lot of money, so not a lot of clubs can pay him, can, can give him a salary that he's earning now at Juve. Or he extends, or he stays at Juve, or he leaves. He would accept, I believe. I think he would accept to go uh, to Paris Saint-Germain. For a new challenge, uh, I think he would do it. Uh, he can find back his old friends like Sergio Ramos, uh, Keylor Navas. Um, he will be the big, big, big star. And Mohamed, thank you, Mohamed. He's saying, when superstars go to Paris Saint-Germain French League, they will lose media courage and real games. I don't know uh, if you have uh, Sergio Ramos, if you have Ronaldo, uh, Verratti, Donnarumma, Wijnaldum, Neymar, Mbappé. Start to be a lot, eh, guys. Start to be really a lot. Will they succeed? I don't know. Probably they will not even play. You know, the Liga will be like a friendly tournament. But uh, uh, Champions League, I don't know. 
because then you have also a team cohesion. But I believe I believe they will Akimi Erfan. I forgot Akimi. I forgot they have too many players. I don't remember. Uh, I believe that they can do it. They can do a last attempt to uh, go for Cristiano Ronaldo. And if I, they offer him 25 million for two years, 25, 25, I think he will go. Will that be good for Juve? It depends what we can do. If Cristiano Ronaldo is not happy, and that's for every single player in the world. It was like that for Zinedine Zidane. Uh, it is like that for Tibala. It is like that for uh, any player on the world. From a moment the player is not happy anymore in a club, it's better to leave. But at the moment we don't know if Cristiano is happy at Juve or not. What I want, and that's my biggest wish before every single season, is motivated players. Motivated players that really want to fight for the shirt. If Cristiano Ronaldo believes and he wants to fight for a Juve, then I'm super happy. Super happy to continue with the best player of the world. Absolutely, yes. It, I would be a fool not to want Cristiano Ronaldo. But if I understand that he's not happy, then maybe it's better to leave. And then we can change the team, okay? But we are not there. Uh, let's see. Ciao Giuseppe, my friend uh, from Canada, who sing the best YouTube show around. Tu sei un grande fratello Giuseppe, sempre forza Juve. My great friend Giuseppe in Canada. I love this guy, I love this guy. Um, one week left Paris Saint-Germain to attempt uh, for Ronaldo deal. Yes, I agree, Taber. Um, they will do a last minute attempt. It's strange to read last minute because the Mercato will go until end of August. Why last minute? Because we know that if Cristiano Ronaldo goes back to Juve, start to train, he will not leave anymore. So it will be now. Uh, it's decisive hours to understand what will be the future of Ronaldo. I'm telling you, Juve does not want to be on this team. He gives me bad vibes. Uh, and that Cristiano doesn't want to be in this team. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I won't go to stay at Juve. Paris Saint-Germain has just bought FIFA. It's true. Ciao, solo, five, solo per five. Solo per five. <coughs> uh, Paris Saint-Germain bought FIFA fair play rules. Imagine Ronaldo and Pogba under 80 million. But uh, the value is not really high of Cristiano Ronaldo. Why? Because he has one year left of contract. The, the, the profit that uh, Juventus needs to generate is around 29, 30 million euro. But they are saving big, big money in salary if he goes. A lot of money because at the moment we are a bit blocked with the money. Eh? I heard the swap deal of Bernardeschi for Delane. Good backup midfield for Arthur. But you see, that's what we were saying at the beginning of the live, eh, guys. Uh, now the the names will come and pop up from everywhere because it was too calm around Juve. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Bernardeschi is not a top priority for Juventus. He is on the departure list. Bernardeschi received already so many chances. Now, if he will stay, we will support him like we do with every single player. But uh, I believe that we have the players that are on the on the on the away list, on the departure list, are Ramsey, Bernardeschi, Rugani, and not even sure because I heard zero rumors anymore for Rugani. Yeah? De Ciglio, Frabotta, this kind of player on the departure list. Then, if an offer arrives for Rabiot, they will take it into the consideration. Uh, it's crazy, yeah? crazy mercato, crazy. But uh, Paris Saint-Germain is not doing anything wrong, eh, guys. The FIFA fair play is not valid anymore at the moment. Huh? Uh, because they blocked it due to COVID. What is one football saying about Locatelli? Because apparently there is also a news about Locatelli. Report revealed that Sassuolo ready made replacement for Locatelli. So they found already a, re uh, a replacement for him. Let's see. 
after months of speculation, Manuel Locatelli transfer to Juventus appears to be much more complicated than initially thought. The Italian blah blah blah, the Nero Verdi wants 40 million. Uh, according to Grazie Marco, adesso leggo il messaggio, now I will read your message. Uh, Lovridge, they are speaking about Lovridge, never heard about it, who cares, let's read the message of Marco, Marco Meola, who is saying ciao Giuseppe, ciao Marco, I think, and grazie, I think that if we sell Ronaldo and Gotticardi in exchange and m some players like Gosens, Locatelli and one, two more, it could be good, um, well, if you give me Icardi, Gosens, Locatelli and one or two more you change the team you change totally the team and then uh, I will tell you probably if that's the only way for Juventus to buy all these players I would probably take the balance and say maybe you're right the problem is that Cristiano Ronaldo will save a lot of salary mass, yes, but he will not bring a lot of cash in, okay, because you still need to sell him for at least 20 26 27 million to break even that means that with 26 27 million that you sell him you don't even generate any plus valenza and any profit so you will need if you want cash you will need to sell cristiano ronaldo for 60 million but today nobody will pay 60 million for a ronaldo that wants to leave maybe i don't know i'm not in the head of ronaldo so forget about value, but forget about cash money. That's one thing. We save a lot of money, yes, but that lot of money of the salaries uh, is not immediate cash. And then you can't, it's really difficult to inject that money into Mercato. Frabotta, they are speaking about a loan with an option or obligation to buy next year. So it's not even uh, immediate cash that you receive. They are speaking about uh, Torino for Marco Piazza. Uh, maybe he will go there. Maybe it will be a value around 5 million. So we don't have, and it's a reality. I'm sorry to disappoint people, eh? but today we don't have the money to invest in Andy Cardi and Gosens and Locatelli. The only player there that uh, could come is Icardi in a swap with uh, Ronaldo because they will probably have around the same value. Uh, they are not the same players, pay attention, that's not what I'm saying, but the value because uh, Icardi is younger, he has a longer contract, they will probably do a swap, uh, a win-win on that uh, uh, moment and then uh, we save a lot of uh, of salary because Icardi apparently was even interested in lower his uh, salary to come to Juve. Uh, we can ask uh, about uh, uh, we can do we can do a poll. Uh, Thomas he wants a poll. Let's see. Locatelli is the new Marquisio. I'm curious. Yes. No. I put three options, guys. Let's see. A small poll, three minutes, we go. And I already see some reactions of people, huh? Uh, no, uh, Marco, I hope I answered, uh, I took my time to answer. Again, there are people, people are speaking about Renato Sanchez, rumor to go to Barcelona for 30 million. Juve should also consider him. Uh, yes, maybe. He was near to Juve eh, a few years ago, I remember. Icardi Prime is finished. I don't know if he's finished because he started well at Paris Saint-Germain, but I think that the players like uh, Neymar and uh, Mbappé, they didn't like him because uh, uh, he was scoring a lot of goals in the first season he was there, huh? really a lot, huh? and then they didn't like it. It's a strange player, Icardi. Huh? I like, uh, I like personally, I like him. Um, ciao, James. I have to go to sleep. Keep it up with your life. Good night, buonanotte. Buonanotte James, grazie per esserci sul canale, thank you for being on the channel.
Adi. I don't want Icardi. He's bad. Imagine you can't score a lot of goals at Paris Saint-Germain. Yeah, but it's not true. It's not true. Then you can like or not. I understand, I understand that people doesn't like him. Uh, I completely agree that you can't like can, that you can like or can't like him. But uh, no, it's not true that you that he didn't score a lot of goals in uh, in with Paris Saint Germain. It's because at a certain moment they changed the way he was playing and so on and so on. So, Lord Abdul. Welcome. He's saying, I just subscribed to Juventus TV to see the interviews and press conferences. Well, uh, Juventus TV is, uh, is not expensive. Uh, you, can, uh, you can confirm it's not expensive. I love Juventus TV, especially for the press conferences. And uh, let's see, uh, soon there will be the press conference of Massimiliano Allegri. I can't wait. I can't wait. So let's see the, the, the poll, by the way. Uh, eh. You see, I agree with that. Locatelli, the new Marquisio, 29 are saying 29 are saying yes, 61 are saying he will need to show a lot more. And 10% are saying 10% are saying will never be. Uh, he has a bit uh, the the looks and uh, he can be, but for me he will need to show a lot more. The difference with Marquisio, of course, is that Marquisio he grew up, you remember the the, the pictures when he was a kid at Juve. So I don't know. I don't know. Uh, ciao, ADP. Ciao. Uh, why is it not true? He was great before PSG. He accepted PSG and he is declining. No, he's declining. But I tell you, it's it's true that uh, he's not performing in the last part of PSG like uh, he was used to do at Inter because it's another uh, way of playing, of course. Um but I think it's also the team, the team that didn't support him. Huh? But uh, let's see. I, I would, guys, if Icardi comes to Juve, it's not the favorite player ever, but I think he can do really great at Juve. I'm nearly convinced he can do really great. Don't block me, but Marquisio is slightly overrated by Juve fans and underrated in Europe. Uh, I will not block you, and uh, um, I will even say that I kind of agree. Only if we keep the word slightly overrated, eh? not overrated, then I would uh, say that uh, you are exaggerating. Slightly overrated, probably, yes. And uh, why is that? Because it's uh, uh, blinded by uh, love for the player, because he's a real Juventino. Um, but it's true that Marquisio he had in the last part a lot of injuries, and before that, uh, when because actually we loaned him out to uh, to Empoli, to Empoli he came back. He's, he was not immediately a starter, but uh, when he was a starter, it was with a bad Juventus until 2011. And then I remember that he had even some years where he was even on the bench because when we played with three midfielders, Vidal, Pogba and Pirlo, he was not always playing. He did an amazing season, I believe it was 2011, where he was fantastic he had another one where he was completely fantastic and he scored so many goals if i'm not wrong he scored 10 goals that season uh and i believe it's 2011 2012 10 goals and then he, he had some injuries so i can understand the comment uh and underrated in europe uh yes because uh, he, he didn't receive a lot of consideration what about Keane? It, uh, the, the voices are really far away now. Huh? Uh, I believe that Keane was really a, a Paratici player. And now that he's gone, maybe not. Um, uh, it's not true. I see a comment of Evert Niemi, who thinks financial fair play only applies to Spezia. Uh, it's not financial fair play because they will be banned not this session but from next session four sessions of transfer market not four years but four sessions it means summer winter summer winter um they will be banned of doing uh, um, transfers not because of financial play, fair play but because they both actually uh, some young 
players. Uh, it was not really legal and things like that. They were uh, younger. They were actually uh, uh, not adult, uh, so less than 18 years. But the problem what, with Spezia is that uh, actually it's not the new owners that uh, did these kind of manipulations. It was the old owners and there they have the the big problem that actually the new owners and the club that is doing great because first season in Serie A they were not bad they uh, really they, they stay in Serie A um, the club will be punished for things that other ones did it's annoying huh? uh, and it's true that I saw a lot of pictures you know like uh, uh, Paris Saint-Germain going away with Wijnaldo, with Hakimi, with all these players. And then you have a Seferin that is only looking at uh, Spezia. Uh, of course, of course, it's easier to go against a Spezia uh, than against a big club, a friend. Because they are really friends. Paris Saint-Germain and Seferin, of course. Can we give Romero and Frabotta in goals? I know Romero is already <coughs> at uh, Atalanta, but they still have to pay us uh, 16 million uh, in goals. No, because they will keep goals. I believe that uh, uh, Atalanta, after they... Uh, um, Grazie Giuseppe, you are the best. Um, I believe that they will keep goals because after being fourth after being third after being again third uh this year i really believe that they want to do even better and they want to try to win don't forget conte is not there anymore at inter so uh they lost akimi they lost uh no they bought chanaloglu uh, unfortunately for ericsson uh because uh, let's see what will happen with ericsson hopefully uh, he can go back to play, but the most important is the health, naturally. So let's see. Uh, but it's another Inter. Eh? It's another Inter. So um, uh, I don't know if uh, I, I see them winners or not. Um, let's see. Grande Peter. Uh, you. I try to speak with everyone. That's true. That's true. But the only thing is... Uh, uh, if I'm looking at the likes on the channel, how many likes do we have? 115. And this is something I don't understand. We have 115 likes. We are with uh, 216 people. So there are 100 people. They are not even liking. I don't understand. It's time. Eh? 51 minutes, uh, guys. Uh, how do you want us to grow? How do you want to, me to continue to be there in the morning, editing the videos, uh, being there in the night, doing the covers of the games, you know, half time, post game, um, speaking about Mercato, El Tactico and all these things. Because the only thing that YouTube is asking is not asking money, it's asking a like. It's algorithm. Okay, every time that you put a like, YouTube says, hey, they like their video of that guy, the bald guy with a the beard. They like him. So that means that we will show that video even to more people and then we can grow and grow and grow. You know what's my dream, guys? Uh, my dream is uh, to stop working. I want to do only this 100% of the day. My day will be like that. Sky Sport 24, 24. I want to be there in the morning together with you and go to sleep together with you involving other people on the channel that's what i want to do grande sam love grande omid uh no that's really what i want to do and i want also to make my son proud that's the most important thing for me you know when i started the channel uh, uh, it's also a challenge uh, to grow and to show my son that i can do things uh, and he's really proud about his father so that's beautiful for me ah we have the interista Look at that. We have the Interista who is on the channel. My great friend, Uncle Sharma. Guys, I always say to you, eh, we can have a lot of banter between clubs. But pay attention. Always having respect. Always having respect for uh, uh, the people that are supporting other clubs. You know, it's not their fault that they chose the bad club. But my great friend, uh, Uncle Sharma, is saying, leave the gold, the likes. Come on, Juventini. Let's see if we, if the people put the like. No, guys. 147. Guys, it's a joke. It's a joke. You know what I do? First, I will say thank you to Ali. Uh, and then I will stop speaking after answering Ali. If we don't reach the... How many do we have? Well, if we don't reach 
180 like uh, you know the darts 180 if we don't reach i stop speaking but first let's say thank you to ali who's coming probably from uk and he's saying ciao giuseppe any doubt about griezmann and is there a chance uh to see him at juve by the way i really enjoyed that video uh, with marco from iftv ah my great friend marco by the way saturday on the juve twitch channel uh, because for the people that doesn't know, I'm working for Juve as well. I'm representing Juve for Twitch together with my friend Marco from IFTV. We will be there to do the getting pumped uh, for the first game, Juve Cesena. And we'll speak about the lineup later. We'll try to do a lineup of the first players that will play. I'm really curious to see uh, how Allegri will play. Uh, but Griezmann was a player, apparently, uh, I heard today that... Uh, uh, Juventus tried a lot of time. They tried, they tried, they tried. They were in talks. Uh, but it was really Paratici that wanted Griezmann to Juve. Uh, but now that uh, Griezmann is not... Uh, now that Paratici is gone to Tottenham, uh, Juventus doesn't want to. Barcelona wants to do the swap uh, Dybala, Griezmann. Juventus said, no, I tell you guys, uh, Dybala will be the center of the project. Dybala, Chiesa, wait. Mamma mia, Dybala Chiesa, you remember that uh, that that pass from Dybala to Chiesa, mamma mia, I don't have the images here, otherwise I would have shown you, mamma mia, guys, guys, you, you are not ready, you are not ready, you know, it's the same comment as my son told me, because I started watching uh, the anime, the anime uh, is called Attack on Titans, guys, really great, I start watching first season, I start to love it, and my son is keeping telling me, you are not ready. You are not ready for season two, for season three. Season four is epic. You are not ready for Attack on Titans. I say, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Let me watch the video. So Attack on Titans, really great anime for the anime lovers. I love animes. Huh? I love at the moment Tokyo Revenger. Great, really great. And as well, uh, uh, and as well, uh, so Tokyo Revenger and uh, Attack on Titans. Grande, grande, grande. Uh, 158, 158 likes. It's not, it's really not a lot, huh? It's really not. Today you are disappointing me. You, today you are disappointing me. 158 likes. It's nothing, nothing, nothing. Um, yeah, even Adam is asking, smash the like button. So let's see what uh, you are commenting, uh, guys. We have people from uh, Libya. Uh, Grande Mohamed. I can't wait to see those two play together. Speaking about Kesa and Dybala. Uh, finally, Attack on Titan gang. It's great, huh, Uncle? It's really great. Really great. Frabotta confirmed to Atalanta for loan with obligation to buy. They are uh, saying 16 million. Mamma mia, 16 million. That's a lot of money for Frabotta. That's a lot of money. Why are they doing that? I see now now people are speaking about the anime. Eh? Uh, Mikey. Mikey from Tokyo Revenger. I, I prefer my uh, Takemichu. Takemichu. I love Takemichu. And uh, no, no, I'm, I'm a big fan of Takemichu. Because it's not strong. But uh, he has the desire, the desire to prove. So I'm uh, for Takemichu. Um, <laughs> Jason is asking LeBron James to Juve too. Yeah. Um, so 16 million is a lot for Framot, huh, to be honest. Uh, even, even, you know, we are exposed, huh? because Uncle Sharma from Inter is saying the magic plus Valencia for Frabotta. It's true. It's true. How can you deny it? It's true. Or or it's like a, a bit of gift, a gift for Romero because we were robbed for uh, Romero, huh? guys. We were robbed. Let's be honest. Uh, we gave them for 16 million Romero. Uh, maybe it's a bit of compensation for the player. Can be. Or maybe, or maybe a goal sense is incoming. But I need to see 16 million is a lot, guys. Uh, anyway, I know it's a lot. It's not a lot. Let's be let's be clear. Why? Why am I saying it's a lot and it's not a lot? Because um, we ask for a player 
whatever player, they give us at least 40 million. That is Locatelli, that is Damgaard, or whatever player, 40 million. So guys, sorry, at a certain moment, we need also to sell our players. Because uh, how is it possible that when we want a player, they want to sell it for at least 40 million, but when we want to sell, they want them for free, guys. Gerald of Rivia. Gerald de Rive. Video games. Uh, where is it? Let me check. The Witcher. This is Gerald of Rivia. Great game. Great game. Great, great game, guys. I love that game. The Witcher. Uh, yeah, I spent a lot of hours playing uh, The Witcher on Xbox One, on PlayStation. It great, great game. He's saying, which Serie uh, A team do you think will be next uh, to win the Champions League? Try to give an unbiased opinion. <sighs> That's a real difficult question, Gerald. That's a really difficult question. Really difficult question. Ah. The, let, let's, let's be real honest. How the Mercato, the transfer market is evolving, I don't see... I don't see any uh, Juventus, uh, any Serie A team winning a, uh, winning the Champions League. Look at what uh, Manchester City is doing, Chelsea, Paris Saint Germain. Um, it's hard if you really want to uh, compete with these teams, and you don't have the the money, then uh, you will have to to have a, a, a year where every star is aligned aligned at 100% uh, i received the news guys i don't know the source uh, i don't know the source i received the news about juventus that is not buying locatelli anymore because uh juventus wants to give 40 million and now sassuolo wants 50 million i don't know i don't know about that news guys um, um, no i would pay attention we have to pay attention with this kind of news i don't know i don't know um Okay, let, let's try to do uh, uh, the last poll of the evening. I think it's an important, uh, we can do an important poll here. But I want you to be really, really honest in that poll. That's an important poll. Okay, Locatelli. Uh, be honest huh, with that poll. 50, if Sassuolo is asking 50 million. Two, two answers. Locatelli. If. If. Because we have to take it with a grant of salt. Eh? I don't confirm that news. Because there is not even a source. And so on and so on. But if it would be true. And Sassuolo is now asking for 50 million. What do we do? Juventus. You are Juventus owner. You buy or you leave? Yeah, I see. Yeah. The first, the first uh, votes are going to seventy percent leave, and it makes sense. It makes sense, guys. Locatelli, I love him. I really want him at Juventus, but he's not the player. He's not the player. Ah, we hit it. By the way, we hit it. Hundred eighty likes. So music. At 
200, at 200 likes, we do it again. At 200 uh, likes, we do it again. But Locatelli, I love the player. I want him at Juve. He's a Juve a supporter. He has black and white blood. I really want him. But he will not be the one that will change Juventus, okay? He's still a young guy. He needs to grow. He needs to integrate himself in the team. He needs to prove that he's able for a big team. So, wait, huh? Locatelli plus another midfielder that starts to change the Juventus. But Locatelli alone, wait, wait. Ciao, Mihailo. Mihailo Josifovsky. Mihailo Josifovsky. I love the name. Welcome to the channel. So at 200, we do again the, the dance. We missed 10 likes for the, for the Ole 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 dance. I love that one. He's not worth 50 million for Mike. I under, I agree. Um, it can't be true. They accepted 40 from Arsenal. Yeah, I believe it's fake news, but I love the poll uh, to see also what people are saying because uh, so many people are saying Locatelli, Locatelli, like it would be the savior of uh, the world. But uh, uh, I, don't, I don't believe. I don't believe it will be the savior. Let me check if we have uh, some other comments uh, here. Um, let me check. What else do we have on um, on internet? Do we have interesting things on uh, on Twitter? Bah, I don't know. Uzu, let, let me check. El Chiringuito. Chiringuito is going full power always. Huh? Okay. Let's go to Elvin because Elvin is reporting really first-hand information so two hours ago uh tenkone the ex responsible for the medical staff of juventus saying arthur couldn't uh, be go under surgery in may the calcification needed to grow um, if it was gone before the timing it would have gone back at 100 percent uh he can eventually come before the three months that were announced. And you see, then we have the words of experts, guys, and the words of really about uh, uh, doctors, and that's better than everything. Uh, Di Marzio is saying that uh, Atalanta will try to close Frabotta next week. They will uh, see each other uh, loan with, it's not obligation, eh? it's the option to buy option to buy for Di Marzio not obligation, option um, okay so okay so if we have now if we have a game versus uh, Cesena uh, uh, for sure they want to cash in as much as possible, don't forget also them and they lost a lot of money eh, with Covid but they need to respect uh, uh, 50 million is too much but I would still go for him maybe I have a crush but I believe in him uh, of course I can understand I would not do it 61% uh, would neither do it 39% uh, will still do it you are not alone uh, Thomas so how are we playing how are we playing guys uh, with the players that we have now so we don't have Ronaldo he's not there yet we don't have uh, uh, the Italian uh, champions um, of Europe winners. So probably we'll play in defense, probably with uh, Rugani, Pellegrini, Pellegrini on the left, Rugani, you will see Rugani will be captain. Eh? Ah no, Dybala, Dybala. So in the goal we'll have Perin. Perin in the goal. Rugani, center back. What happened? Ah, ciao, ciao, Mohamed. We, we just uh, uh, send a message. I believe all big teams will consider coming two years, not f uh, years. Wait, I, I can't see the message at the moment because there is the poll. Wait, let's close the poll so that I can see our messages again. Um, so I believe all big teams will consider coming two years, not years of investment on big players. They will try to manage until better times come. Uh, but 
depends eh? if you are speaking about Serie A teams yes if we are speaking about uh, elsewhere they still receive a lot of money eh? so I don't know uh, Mohamed I don't know I think that uh, Paris Saint-Germain is, uh, is creating something really dangerous really dangerous with what they are doing not is it correct legally it's correct but uh, they are creating something really dangerous because with all the players they have with the media with everything uh, it will be really difficult um, really so hey guys we have to finish the the lineup with the players that we have huh? uh, let's go to the to the Juve channel let's go to the Juve channel to see the pictures of the players that were there juventus.com we go here uh, let's see here let's see the pictures so we have fagioli we have decilio ah decilio mckenny okay let, let's try to build the team let's try to build the team uh, I will take my board. It's a long time ago. I didn't take my board. Wait. So with the players we have. Nice. Let me take my microphone here. It's better. We'll try to, to see how we will play for the first game versus Cesena, okay? There will be a lot of changes, of course, but we have Perin in the goal. Okay? Makes sense. I think we, are agree, we, we agree with that. That's an easy one, Perin in the goal. Then we have uh, De Ciglio on the right. Rugani, we have Pellegrini, hmm? Bentornato whiteboard, it was a long time ago, look, look, I, I have to fix it, uh, who else do we have, McKenny, we have, I need another center, uh, central defender, eh? Uh, let's see the pictures. Who who are in the pictures? Uh, Dragusin, of course. Guys, you need to help me. Eh? Demiral just arrived. Uh, he will play probably the second half, but I believe that Dragusin will play. Dragusin. Yes, yes. Makes sense. Makes sense. Make totally sense. Thank you, guys. Uh, let's see who's there. We have uh, even Frabotta. But pay attention, uh, Dybala, McKenny, Fragota, De Ciglio, Rugani, Pellegrini, ah, Piazza, there is still Piazza, I need to, to remember Piazza. Uh, okay, Dybala will be there, like that, for two. Let's say we start really like that. Then we have uh, Dybala here. All right, I believe we will play with three men in the midfield. Yeah, because we don't have our wing wingers. So probably we'll play with Fagioli. Mm, it's hard, huh? It's really hard. McKenny. It's really hard. Kulusevsky is. No, it's not there yet. Weston Fagioli in the midfield. Yeah. Weston Fagioli. Help me, uh, guys. Uh, Dragujin. Yes. Ranocchia. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe Ranocchia. Probably Ranocchia. Ciao, Jakob, who's saying I'm here since 2K. Hey, we grew a lot, huh? Let's say Ranocchia. 
I need a I need to buy a new one for the new season. We can't see it anymore. Wait. Ah no, there is also Peters. Dauda Peters is there. Uh Dibala. Piazza. I probably here. And another player. It's hard, huh? It's really hard to do the first team. Di Pardo, yes, Di Pardo. Felix Correa, yeah, 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 I agree, I agree. He's there as well. Yeah, that can be the first team. The first team of, uh, of Juve. Not bad, huh? Bad. Not bad. It's not bad. Dauda Peters will probably play as well. I don't know if Ranocchia or Dauda Peters. But uh, Ranocchia, he has a bright future. Huh? He has a bright future, Ranocchia. Uh, from 1k to 14k. Thank you. It's true. Crazy, huh? How we grew. Crazy. I don't know uh, where we will stop. I don't know. Bernardeschi is not there yet. Uh, he's not there yet. We have to wait. Uh, Bernardeschi is uh, enjoying his, uh, uh, his uh, wedding. Uh, Rafia is there as well. It's true. Uh, Rafia, the one that scored for the Coppa Italia. Rafia. Mate, we need shout out to all Serie A fans in Libya. We grew up watching it, Juve vs Parma Super Cup in Tripoli, still one of my favorite games ever. Uh, shout out uh, Ali and all the people in Libya. I know, and it's true, I know that in Libya a lot of people are watching Serie A. Because in Libya at the time they were really showing these games uh, of Serie A, big big games, Parma was a big team. I think Ali is speaking, if I'm not wrong, of 93-94. Can you confirm, Ali? I really want to know if my memory is working well. But I think it's 93, 94. So Ali has a, a long knowledge. And I know that there are a lot of Serie A fans in, uh, in Libya. It's true. So big shout out to you guys. Continue to show love to Serie A, whatever team you support. Eh? Uh, Juve, Milan or whatever. Because I know there are a lot of Milan fans there as well. So... It's true. Ah, guys, we reached 200 likes. We have to go with the, with the music. I love. Thank you, guys. You are the best. Um, so I'm excited. I'm super excited for the game. There will be a pre-game on the Juventus Twitch channel and then I will try to be live for the first game and then we will try to do a, a, a watch along. Maybe, maybe. If I'm able to see the game, uh, uh, we will try to do it. That will be really fun. Really fun because I can't wait to see uh, uh, how Dybala grew the last uh, moments uh, um, because he looks like in super shape. Eh? So, yeah. Um, guys, we are about to end. We are in the, in the closing time. Closing time. Um, yeah, let's do two more minutes, few questions, and then we, we stop. Um, Will Padoin play? No, he will not play. My grandfather from Sicily was born in Tripoli. Look at that. Ask Beppe, will you f watch friendly game and then do a live to give us your opinion for who can't watch it? Like, how do we play? Who impressed you? Absolutely, yes. Absolutely, yes. Uh, 
uh, Giuseppe Frabotta or Pellegrini uh, Frabotta is already out and uh, nearly out so I will go for Pellegrini but I'm not a fan of Pellegrini um, let's see more questions uh, you know Pellegrini will be a star because Beppe is not impressed I still remember Beppe called Chiesa Bernardeschi 2.0 no 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 I, I never said Bernardeschi 2.0 I said that I didn't like Chiesa I didn't want to buy Chiesa I was against uh, Chiesa but I never called him Bernardeschi 2.0 that's the people on internet that were calling him like that no 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 uh, but I was thinking it, but I never said it. Uh, Alex is saying lol. Uh, no, I love Ole Ole. Recap the life. Oh, come on. Uh, recap the life. Recap the life. It's 1 hour 19. It will be uh, available in 10 minutes as a replay. Beppe, what do you think about Pjanic? Back to you. It could be a really cheap option. Uh, I'm a big fan of Pjanic. Always loved Pjanic. But I was also happy when he left because uh, the last year with Sarri was disaster. Not because of Pjanic, not because of Sarri, I believe. Sometimes it's not matching. So I was happy because he was not running anymore. <laughs> he had a really difficult season at Barcelona. I prefer not having Pjanic back. I prefer not having Pjanic back. But if he comes, uh, guys, I will support a lot Pjanic and I believe that uh, uh, he can be someone important for Juve because he knows Allegri, he knows Juve, he knows Serie A, uh, he wants to show him that he's not a Finnish player because he's 31, he's not that old. Eh? So I prefer not, but if he comes, I will accept. Um, no, no, I will not recap the life. Uh, Pep Guardiola is not even on him uh, I don't know about who you are speaking Ciao Rocky ah, Ciao Rocky 87 Van de Beek over Pjanic uh, two totally different players uh, Van de Beek is uh, totally different as Pjanic uh, younger uh, faster, quicker uh, needs to prove uh, don't don't forget he only was he was only great at Ajax. He never proved something in a big club. But uh, different players, of course. Ciao, Jeff. The Libyan brother was referring to the 2002 Super Cup. You see, I didn't see the the answer. Grande Jeff for uh, telling us. Uh, it's true. It's true. Uh, but I. If you can find me someone that said that Romero was great before going to Atalanta, uh, then I buy you a coffee. Guys, Romero, he came from a loan to I don't remember what team anymore. Uh, it was a disaster. Huh? It was really a disaster. And then he came to you. No, I, I never said he was not good, Cristiano Romero. I said that it was good to sell him. Why? Because he would never have played at Juve. And that's also why he wanted to leave. He said it himself. He said, uh, I prefer to go in a other team playing as a starter than uh, playing at Juve, being the fifth or sixth choice and play like uh, 10 games in a season. So, but I never said he was not good. I said that for me, it was not Juve material uh, because he came from a year that he was a disaster, but really bad, huh? really bad. Um, ah, yeah, no, it's true. I look like a uh, Guardiola. That's true. That's true. Would you buy Skamaka? No. Pogba, my big dream, but uh, I don't believe so. The greatest 89ers is uh, ready for a new season together with us, except if Ronaldo leaves, then uh, he will leave as well. Um, Ciao D10, my friend, the big lover of uh, Dybala eh, there. Grosse uh, aus München, J my man, danke sehr, danke sehr. Credi che Allegri si sia beccato i suoi 9 milioni del suo contratto accettando un mercato mediocre da parte di Agnelli? No. No, non penso, perché fare figura, figure di, merde, di merda Allegri non lo fa. 
non è uno che torna per 9 milioni che poteva prenderli da un'altra parte uh, c'è un progetto e conscio che il mercato è difficile e forse l'ha accettato perché pensa che può fare qualcosa con quello che abbiamo uh, mercato mediocre me, io non direi medro, mediocre io direi me, mercato inesistente al momento uh, So the question from Rocky was do you think that Allegri would have taken the 9 million from his contract to Juve accepting actually a mediocre uh, transfer market from Agnelli? I said no because Allegri coming back to Juve uh, accepting a mediocre transfer, uh, no, no. I think he's conscious of the situation, of the problems. He believes in the players that he has. Uh, he believes in the project on a longer term because don't forget he signed for four years if I'm not wrong um, but soon soon there will be a press conference we will hear but uh, and I'm not saying it's a mediocre med mercato for me it's an inexistent mercato uh, my friend Aziz John just popping up saying Pjanic plus play cut as backup or sub or versus weak team yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah, on that one I agree. On that one I agree. Are you Locatelli? Uh, is so soon to you. Uh, ciao Octavio, welcome. I don't understand the question, uh, Asdin. Uh, but if it's close to Juve, yeah, guys, yeah. Beppe, you should get some sleep. Uh, it's, I said two minutes, it's already seven minutes. My phone is about to die. Forza Juve. Ciao Lord. Lord Alistair. Beppe. What happened of the uh, rumor of Rome Rovella from Genoa? But what the rumor? Rovella is... Ah! Uh, no! Rovella is, is staying one more year, guys. He's staying one more year. We already have a, a lot of young players to give the chance, like Fagioli. Uh, he stays one more year. He's really young. L let leave him. Leave him uh, one more year. And if we wanted him, we 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 needed to pay a fee to have him uh, faster. Moiski, no. Uh, chi prenderesti se fossi Carubini avresti 50 milioni a parte Locatelli. Ah. Huh. Non lo so. It's hard, huh? It's a really difficult question. Huh? Who do you buy for 50 million if you are Locatelli? Uh, if you are Cherubini, except of Locatelli. With 50 million. Today you can't buy nobody with 50 million. It's hard. Uh, Gosens. Gosens on the left. But then we have to play 3-5-2. I don't know. I will think about it. Who to buy with 50 million. Ci penserò perché adesso non lo so. Uh, where do you see Chiesa in 50 years in five years uh, I, it's hard to predict like that but uh, I believe you, you know that's the difference with Italian players uh, Italian players they really understand what uh Juventus is, Juventus is a final destination for Italian people because they love to remain at Juve. Uh, in Italy, they love their country. It's uh, one of the most beautiful countries of Europe, of maybe the world. So they don't want to leave. If they really leave, it's for other reasons. Uh, but uh, so I see, and, and what's the biggest club in Italy? It's Juve. So if Chiesa continue to perform well, I would see him as uh, one of the captains of Juve. Uh, I would love to see De Ligt, uh, captain, and then uh, uh, Chiesa in the back. Opinion on possible swap Icardi Ronaldo. We spoke about it for a long time. Now we are on closing time, uh, the greatest, but I think that we dedicated boah, 10 or 15 minutes just speaking about that. Um, grazie, Octavio. Gracias. Muchas gracias, Octavio. Que placer. Eh, pienso que tú vives en México, se leo bien, México, sí, creo que sí. Y soy muy contente, ¿por qué? Porque en el viernes voy a hacer una live, no en mi canal, pero en un otro canal, voy a hacer un, un live 
donde voy a hablar en español. Es ya dos años que no lo hablo, pero todo, todo en español. Voy a intentar de hablar de la Juve en español. Soy muy, muy, muy contento. Muy, muy, muy. Uh, qué bien, qué bien. Hablar de la Juve en español. Y ahora estoy practicando. Pero gracias para la donación. Me alegro mucho. Gracias, Octavio. I hope I spoke in, uh, in Spanish and that Octavio is really coming from Mexico because maybe I'm speaking in Spanish and uh, he's not from Mexico and he doesn't understand what I'm saying. Uh, can be, can be. Uh, so let me know, Octavio, if you are really from Mexico and if you understood what I said in Spanish. <laughs> uh, Gee, did you see the report that Giorgino had his girlfriend and mother of his children sitting together at every game? Love it. Yes, they were there for the Champions League final. They were there for the Euro final. Uh, to be honest, I didn't see their faces because on the picture you see another part of their body. But I saw it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nice. Of course, it's nice having the mother and the girlfriend being there supporting you. There is nothing more important than family. Nothing. So, yes. Yes, I agree. Um, right, now it's time to, to stop, huh? One hour thirty. I said thirty minutes life. We are there for one hour thirty, guys. And luckily there is nothing to see. Imagine you are a PSG YouTuber. You do lives twenty four seven. You speak about Pogba. You speak about every single player of the world. I'm happy. I'm happy to be Juve. No pude contestar. Me acabo de suscri uh, suscribir. Español perfecto. Qué gusto escucharte. Gracias, Octavo. Y... Pero en el canal no lo hablamos mucho. Y cuando tengo la oportunidad de hablarlo, lo hablo. Y sí. Do you work in the morning now? Yes, Michael. I always work. Tomorrow no. Tomorrow is uh, actually a, uh, a festive day. It's the national uh, day of Belgium. So everything is closed. I'm not working tomorrow. Uh, uh, but I work. Yeah, I have a full-time job, guys. Huh? I have a full-time job. Absolutely, yes. Ciao, Jamie. Do you see Chiesa ever reaching a level good enough to win a Ballon d'Or? <laughs> Ballon d'Or is difficult uh, because I still don't understand the concept of Ballon d'Or. Uh, sometimes it's a popularity uh, contest, sometimes it's uh, the one that uh, won the most uh, uh, trophies. I don't understand what are, and I believe that nobody explains uh, what are the, the real... Uh, qualifications that you need to win it I don't know let's wait he, he, he has talent and huh? the guy has talent but uh, and one thing that he really has is that he has a lot of um, la garra la garra charua he has a lot of will uh, happy Colombian Independence Day that was today eh? I believe uh, today was indeed and tomorrow is uh, Belgium how many Uh, I speak five good uh, one I understand uh, guys you know what I want to finish with a game for the people that are still there I have the book of uh, Massimiliano Allegri here okay and uh, he wrote like uh, 32 chapters 32 chapters that actually are rules le regole di Allegri il calcio è molto semplice Football is really simple with 33, 32, sorry, 32 rules, okay, uh, about uh, how football can be uh, simple and his, uh, his football. So, you know what? Give me a page and I will see. It's in Italian, so I will translate. I will see where we are. The pages are from, let me check, it starts at page one, okay, and it goes to page 275, from page one to 275, 
and then I will see in what chapter we are and we'll try to see because that will actually represent the game of Saturday versus Cesena. Here, Gino, Gino, 275. Let's take the one of Gino, 275. I have no idea. 275, that will represent, guys, the game. Yeah, but you give me the last page, Gino. The last page is, uh, it will not even happen, guys. Because the last page, it's the last chapter. It's not even it a chapter. It's not even a chapter. Because the last page is actually speaking about... Uh, it's not even a chapter, so it's not valid. Because 275 is actually speaking how it is to train Cristiano Ronaldo. So, uh, no, I can't, I can't because he will not be there. So we have to change. Change the page. Uh, which page do we take? Uh, Dr. Callum. You know why I want Dr. Callum with page 101? Because Dr. Callum, he looks like he has a zebra head uh, on his uh, logo. I love that. Ciao, Guido. Ciao, Guido. I love Guido. Um, so, 101. 101. Okay. <clears throat> okay, grande, grande, grande. 101 comes from the chapter 11. Chapter 11 is quite difficult. Se vuoi inalzare i picchi di prestazione, usa il cazzeggio creativo. If you want to increase the peaks of performances, you will need to use creativity. That's what he wants. That's what he said. And on page 101, let me try to read something. Uh, ah, okay, okay, okay. You see? He's saying, I, I read you, huh? and then I leave. Se avevo trascorso la mia gioventù nel cazzeggio più totale, a partire dalla stagione 91-92 qualcosa cambiò radicalmente, perché ricevetti una chiamata del Pescara in Serie B e diventai un giocatore della rosa della formazione adriatica. In quella città incontrai Giovanni Galeone, un allenatore a cui do devo moltissimo. Come giocatore capì che dovevo lasciare da parte il cazzeggio per, eh, continuo per comportarmi più seriamente. Finì che in quella stagione vincemmo il campionato e che in quella successiva in Serie A rela realizzai 12 gol diventando l'uomo mercato insieme a Francesco Dell'Anno. Dopo quell'annata straordinaria potevo anche ambire a grande squadre. So what he's saying, it's a part of the book, guys, I will translate. Uh, he's actually saying that cazzeggio creativo means actually, you know, cazzeggio um, is when you are not a serious person, when you are playing and so on and so on. And, uh, you know, an immature person. And he's saying that uh, uh, if in all his career he was not really mature, not really serious, in the season 91-92, uh, he met in Pescara a trainer, Giovanni Galeone, that is one of his best friends now, okay? One of his confidence now. And he's saying that uh, he's a trainer that he needs to give a lot to. Uh, because as a player, that was the moment that I understood that I had to stop being immature and behave myself a lot more 
in a serious way. In that season 91-92 in second division, we won the division. And the year after in Serie A, I realized or I, I scored 12 goals. And I became actually the Mercato man uh, together with Francesco Dell'Anno because he was a really important man. After that year, that extraordinary year, I could have gone in whatever other big team. He went to Cagliari, where he met Presidente Cellino, a person that, uh, for certain ways, is really a genius. And a few years later, he gave him the opportunity to become, to become a trainer of Cagliari. So what can I understand in that book, in page 101, is that uh, if we want to increase the peak of uh, performances, we need to use immature creativity, but also it's explained that the players, they need to be on the field, creative, immature, but off the field, they have to be really serious working hard that's why i understand from that book so that means that the players they will have to find a way to play really creative on the field but with the head and being really serious in what they do i can't wait for the game versus cesena on saturday 6 p.m uh when was the book published just after he left juve uh if i'm not wrong or maybe the last months where he was at juve let me check if it's written somewhere i don't know where it's written really great book by the way really great book where you understand uh, april 19 so the year that he left uh, a month before he left pepe do you think you will uh, juve will get harry kane uh no i don't think so uh allora vinciamo il campionato spero di sì guys thank you one hour 40 together with you it was an amazing life we will see each other tomorrow uh, morning for the video and then uh, maybe in the evening uh, for uh, um, for a, a live shorter and shorter grazie forza Juve hey, pay attention this week there will be other surprises Juve world other surprises beautiful surprises Ciao guys, ciao a tutti, ciao Marco, ciao Gino, ciao Catherine, ciao Greatest, ciao Lincian, the Lincian, uh, uh, ciao Gino again, ciao Jamie, ciao Dr. Callum, uh, Kevin, Philip, fino alla fine, Rocky87, Edward, Dario, Namdi, Jacob, Blagoshe90, Nolak, or Nolach, Marco, ciao a tutti!